Okay, this is um, evolutionary explanations for aggression, and this is looking at the evaluation of the evolutionary explanations. This is AQA psychology. Um, now, the first thing to say is that there's research support. We looked in the last video, obviously, at Shackleton, um, which was the study uh, which found a positive correlation between mate retention techniques um, and use of violence. There's another study that we have, which was by a guy called Wilson, um, where he found that, again, through a survey, women who said that their partners were jealous were twice as likely to have experienced violence from them. Um, and that, again, is a nice strong link between sexual jealousy, mate retention and violence in a, in a similar vein to the study by Shackleton. Um, so it's some research support for the evolutionary explanation, saying that aggression, sexual jealousy um, is linked to aggression and that it um, is to do with passing on your genes and guarding your, your uh, spouse from being unfaithful. Okay, other positives of the evolutionary approach. It's got practical applications. It um, Women can be helped to be aware of if their partner is using mate retention strategies, how that might develop into violence, and being aware of that before it happens is obviously a good thing. They have the opportunity to seek counselling, or the woman can be aware that, that violence may be coming and that it would be a good idea to end the relationship. Um, so the, that that's really positive pra practical applications of this. Um, the other positive is um, that it explains gender differences. Um, if you think about the um, issue of cuckoldry, um, the fact that the woman is carrying the baby means that the the man uses all of these different strategies. It explains why uh, violence and aggression are more common in men than in women. And that's a really positive thing about this explanation, this evolutionary explanation. Um, criticisms of evolutionary theory, and there are a few of these, um, there are cultural differences in homicide rates of men who kill their wives. If um, aggression was an evolutionary thing, we would expect it to be consistent across all humans, not just something that we find in one culture or another culture. If it's to do, if it's something, a feature of our behaviour that enables us to survive and pass on our genes, we would expect that rates of aggression would be consistent across the globe. And if we find that they're different in different areas, that suggests that even if there is perhaps an evolutionary element to it that there may be um, other factors involved in causing aggression and not just evolutionary factors working on it. Um, the other, another criticism is that it's gender biased. Um, the explanation doesn't really consider the fact that males may be unfaithful as well. It doesn't particularly explain it. Um, and it also doesn't explain the fact that there are some women who are violent. They're, they're less reported and there are fewer of them than uh, male um, male perpetrators of domestic violence. But they do exist and this explanation does not um, it does not um, explain that. Why Why would women be aggressive in this way? Um, because they, they have no need particularly to, um, to be aggressive in this context because they can be confident that the child they're carrying is their own. They're passing on their genes. Um, so it doesn't necessarily explain that. More problems. Um, it's hard to explain some elements of aggressive behaviour using this. So, for example, as mentioned in the last video, some males do die in battle. That's obviously not adaptive because uh, they're not surviving. Um, they're not um, passing on their genes if they die before they've father to child. Um, some violent males will be rejected as partners. This is something touched on with the ethological explanation. Actually, um, females may be scared and may it may not be an attractive feature. So that's an issue, something that the ecological, ex sorry, not e ecological, the evolutionary explanation is not able to explain. Um, and the other thing is that a lot of these pieces of research have a, a bit of a methodological flaw in that the use of self-report um, is really an issue in this area because it's a sensitive area where people may not be fully honest about what's happening. So if you think about social desirability bias, men may not want to admit to being violent, you know, fear of prosecution or um, simply 
embarrassment um, you know they simply may not want to admit to it in a questionnaire for example um, you know equally women uh, may not want to admit to it for fear of the man um, punishing them for admitting it in, in a questionnaire uh, to anyone um, so that may be a, a real issue where you have social desirability bias where both parties may play down what's happening um, the other issue is that actually a lot of these um, questionnaires use these closed questions so it's possible to compare um, but actually if you're using closed questions in this context ticking a box to say I agree with this statement or whatever that means that you're really losing the um, the depth of explanation and the subtlety that may be involved and maybe not quite getting to the heart of what's what's going on um, and so both of those things can really cause a lack of internal validity remember that means whether it's measuring what it's supposed to measure actually if you're getting answers to questionnaires that are not quite um, explaining it but they've kind of gone for the closest thing or you're getting answers to questionnaires that are not fully honest both of those things will cause um, the questionnaire to not quite be measuring what it's supposed to be measuring so that um, if we link that again back to this evolutionary explanation of aggressive behavior it suggests that although these um, those two studies the um, Shackleton and the Wilson studies although they do support this explanation um, that weakens their support for this explanation um, because although they may have found that particular link uh, it could be um, you know perhaps not completely honest responses or kind of close to the issue but not quite touching it if that makes sense right uh, that's the end of evolutionary explanations evaluation